producer on. We'll take the tamper out and then we'll throw the whole ingredients directly in the top. The internal cutting knife that's in the shoot of the juicer will cut that for us so we can throw the whole apple in, uh, we'll throw the whole piece of ginger in. It's got a large auger which just masticates and chews without us having to do any pressing at all. Orange goes in, the whole carrot can go in just the way that it is. I love that, no cutting. How many cuts were involved in prepping these vegetables for juicing? And this one will just eat it right up. And you don't need to push very hard, just give it a little boost down into the auger. Very, very simple and easy, no muscle required. And then of course, to match the other juice, about a half a stick of celery going through as well. So that's all in our Optimum 600 juicer. We actually had the juice cap closed while we were juicing, which was great because the movement of the basket inside of the juicer actually mixed all of our flavours and they've come out mixed already. And we can now turn the Optimum Slow Juicer off. Just a little bit more juice coming through now, making sure that we've got the last of it. There we go. Turn it off. So the juicing's done, let's give it a stop and we have one minute and 27 seconds to juice the juice in this juicer. Now they are both slow cold pressed juices and we move that out of the way, pour it into a glass and pop them side by side to see what we have here. And we actually see that the Optimum 600 juicer has more yield than the horizontal slow juicer by quite a bit actually. So that's pretty interesting. We've done that. We're going to pop both of those glasses aside and move on with juicing the greens that we have here. Some celery and a little bit of kale. So pop that aside and we'll add to those in just a second.